So England have reached their first World Cup semi-final for 28 years. They beat Sweden by two goals to nil. And Ian, it was a very comfortable performance, a comfortable experience watching them for a change. Yeah, it was. Um, Gareth, very loyal to the players, got in that far, and rightly so. Uh, they were organised, disciplined, controlled the ball well. I thought Henderson was yet again outstanding. You know, if you take the penalty miss out of it, and that wasn't a bad penalty. He's, he's driven the troops, his, his, his forward passing has been very good. He's becoming a little bit Carrick like with his passing in the last few games. Very impressed with him. They look disciplined, they're organised. They, they've stuck with that set piece rate routine that sort of, rather than whip it in, they sort of get, punch a little seven iron in there and let him, Harry Maguire's movement gets them a wonderful goal. It's a really good header. You know, quite why Forsberg's marking him, I don't know in the end, but um, Sweden never troubled England for long periods of the game until a couple of excellent saves and the, the hallmark of a great keeper Joe is, is one that makes big saves at big time and, and, and again you've got to say that's what Pickford's done he, he's made crucial saves at crucial time were they show stopping no but they were very very competent saves and yeah, his, his distribution's superb he's a big plus stones and that you know the back three have done really well Carl Walker as you say Stones and McGuire have been outstanding and Deli Ali got a goal I wouldn't say he was back to his fluent best but you know in a, a quiet game for Harry Kane you haven't had to rely on him Deli Ali gets a goal very important and I'll say another thing and a lot of there's been a lot of criticism his, his movement within that system you know Sterling's was excellent he threatens behind I mean, there's no one else in the team maybe Rashford who can do that but he's a natural mover beyond that force and it disturbs and disrupts teams and although he didn't get a goal and he should have done there was a lot of positives to take out of Gareth I'll be delighted and I think there's a real bond between Gareth and the fans you've seen that after the game it's huge pluses all round Croatia goes second extra time you know it, it's all aligning very well 